You... You brought us water. But why? Because I don't want to be like anyone else in my pride. I, I don't want to be evil. I want to help you guys, but I... I don't know how. You just did. Thank you. Yeah. It's good water. It's fresh, too. Come on, everyone have a drink. Get up. Go, Zebra. Anything to help. Now, you better hide it or push it off um, if you hear someone coming that's not me, okay? Now, I gotta get back to them. Um... They might be wondering where I left, went. I'll try to bring you guys water every day. Maybe um, I'll come back in an hour or so and take that. Hey, son. Oh, uh, hi, Dad. What were you doing up there, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I was just paying, uh, the prisoners a visit. Um, yeah, uh, I knocked over one of the cubs and stepped on the paw. Um, I hurt them pretty bad. Hmm. You really are shadowing me, aren't you? You are going to be the biggest, meanest lion ever to rule this pride. I'm proud of you, son. Yeah, in his dreams. Okay, who stepped on a red ant's nest? They're everywhere, they're crazy. Hey, Mom. Oh, hi. Um, so are you doing good? Yeah, what do you ask? I don't know, just wondering. You're my mom and all. I don't know who stepped on them, but ow, they hurt. Yes, it had, ow, it had to have been one of you two. Ah, get off of me! Ah, oh, these red ants sting! Yeah, it's what red ants do. <laughs> hey, is she doing better since Aspen attacked her? Yeah, why do you care? Jeez, you don't have to be so rude, I was just checking in. Why, no one cares for each other. Will you care for her? Yeah, but because I'm her mate. Now why would you care for us? Because you're my pride members? Just go. Only oh, nice ones are the prisoners. I'm gonna go back up there. So, how did you get that big scar on your nose? Oh, well... I actually have one under my chin, too, because the king, um, he bit my muzzle and drug his teeth across my face. And because he did that, he actually, um, 
damaged my nasal cavity and I can't smell. <sighs> Haven't you guys ever tried to stand up to them? Yeah, we have, but that only gets us killed. Well, I think that we should do something about this. We can't. Well, why not? You have three more, no, two more adult members. And they haven't starved two of us yet. <sighs> yes. But you would never stand a chance against him. No one in this pride would. <sighs> yes, you're right. He is a giant male lion, but still. I don't think even all of us together would be able to stop him. We're all starved, we're all weak. Except for you, and what's the cheetah's name? Shiloh? You and Shiloh. And what's your name? Atlas? <sighs> yeah. So, none of us stand a chance against him. Well, power in numbers, right? But, yeah, we're all too weak, though. Definitely no one would stand a chance against him one-on-one. -on -one. <sighs> yeah. Even together, we would probably end up dying. Just a suicide mission. So, do you think Leah is ever going to come back for us? Well, she has to. Aren't those her cubs? Yeah, she wouldn't leave her cubs. Yeah. What if it wasn't just her cubs? What if it was us two? Do you think she would really get help? Well, we've only known her for a couple of months, but I think she would. Out of all the times that we've helped her and all of the times that she's helped us, we've all grown to trust each other. Don't you think that she would? Yeah. I guess the best thing to do is probably just sit and wait and hope that she brings an army. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Yeah, why not? Oh. Ow. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> why don't you think that's a good idea? Well, who knows? If she went and walked into an army of animals... Or like a giant pack of wolves, or even a smaller pack of wolves. They c probably killed her. Or will if she isn't already dead. Or make her a prisoner. <sighs> All we have to do is hope for the best, right? There could be a whole new generation before she comes. You can't always just rely on your friends that didn't get me anywhere didn't get him anywhere didn't get any of them anywhere if we want to make it out alive we can't just sit around here waiting for someone to come help us yes we're prisoners yes we're hungry and weak but that doesn't mean we can try. He says that even all of us together, combined, we couldn't even stop the king. Well, uh, I have an idea. Yeah. Where did you come from? Well, I came back in here because everyone's so mean. And you guys are the only ones that are nice to me and the only ones who actually want to talk to me. Well, you probably shouldn't just sneak up on a bunch of prisoners. Yeah, I know. What's your idea? Well, you know how there's weaker animals in here? Like the mountain lion, the leopard, and the panther? Yeah, uh-huh. 
What if we kill them off one by one? You would actually want to kill off your pride one by one? Well, yeah, the only one that's nice to me is my mom. And she hardly even talks to me anyways. So I don't think she would care if I died, though. My dad would kill me himself if he absolutely had to. Well, I don't, I don't know what to say. If you really want to kill off your pride one by one, it may be our only chance to get out of here. <sighs> yeah, they would obviously hear us. It would never work. <sighs> You're right. We're literally right above them. The den is right there. There's no way to sneak you guys out. There's always at least one animal awake. Everyone awakes so fast. But I don't know what other choice we would have. All of you are weaker, so you couldn't fight all of them at once. Yeah. <sighs> Ow! Ah, why do we keep falling? Ow! You fell on me. Well, that hurt. He fell. Yeah. Was it you? I think it was you. You fell earlier. Yeah. But if killing the pride off one by one doesn't work, I have another idea. I mean, it wouldn't be a good idea, but I could sneak one of the cubs out one by one, but I don't know how I'd sneak you guys out. <sighs> yeah, well, that wouldn't work. Or could it? What if late at night he pretends to be asleep? And we all sneak out. Maybe not all at once to make more noise, but just one at a time. It couldn't hurt to try. It's either that or picking off the pride one by one, and then they come in once a day, so I don't think that would work, and they would notice them being gone. Especially if we kill off a really important one. Yeah. They would hear it too, unless we, like, kill them Silently or something. I don't know how we would kill them. I guess I would probably be the one to tackle them or something. And you guys would go in for the kill. I mean, dinner? It's hard to say, but we're starving here. Dinner? We only get, like, one bite of food a day. It... <laughs> We could eat pounds of meat. I've never starved this much in my life. They starve us to make us weak so we can't fight back. But what if they can't fight back? What do you mean, what if they couldn't fight back? Well, hear me out. They're starving us, so we get too skinny and too weak to fight back. But what if something happened to them? Like what? I don't know, but... It would have to be something. Picking them off one by one would be the best choice we have, but... They would notice that they're gone. We'll just figure something out later. I'm gonna go to bed. Drink the rest of your water. I'll come get it in the morning. He's a really nice kid, huh? Yeah, he is. He's helping us survive and no one knows it, except for us. If we ever make it out alive and he does too, we should let him in our pride. Or a clan. 
Ja. If we all made it out alive, would you let anyone else in your clan? Well, yeah, probably. Like some of the prisoners? Well, if the prisoner really wanted to come in our clan, we would totally let him in. Why, do you? Yeah, I grew up alone all my life, pretty much. As soon as I was old enough to leave uh, my mother and my brother, I did, and I kind of regret it because I've never found family since. But these prisoners sort of feel like your family. He's right. We could be in here for a long time. Who knows if Lyra Leah is dead?